in order to create a stronger relationship with the communities in Berlin, I've invited two large ensembles. One is the Splitter Orchestra, um, which was formed three or four years ago by musicians involved with the Excite Music uh, movement, who are free improvisers. Um, and they're, they, they're working for the festival with the great American trombonist and composer George Lewis, who's writing a special piece for them, which they will rehearse in the week before the festival for performance and then give a world premiere as the opening event of, of the festival. Um, and then on the last night, we're going to have uh, another very large ensemble, 24 musicians, called Divan of the Continents, which was put together in Berlin um, by two musicians, Simin Simawati, who uh, is a singer who was born in Berlin of Iranian parents and studied at the Jazz Institute, and Ketan Bati, who's a drummer who was born in New Delhi but also studied in, in Berlin. And they put a, this ensemble together of musicians from many different cultures, all living in Berlin. So we'll have singers singing in Persian, in uh, Hebrew, in Turkish, other languages, um, musicians from China, Japan, various other places, all playing their traditional instruments with conventional Western instruments as well. And they're trying to find a common ground for all these musicians to play together in a music that is influenced by jazz, that has the spirit of jazz at its, at its heart. So that's going to be interesting. That's another world premiere too. Um, and they're going to have their rehearsals at the Jazz Institute uh, in the Udeka. Um, so the students can come and listen to them in the process of creating this music, which is another part of what I feel is the important task of establishing relationships between the festival and people in Berlin. You might remember that in the 1970s, David Bowie lived in Berlin for a few years, and he made two albums called Low and Heroes, which included instrumental pieces, uh, very atmospheric pieces of music. Now, they've been taken by an English drummer called Dylan Howe, who's rearranged them, almost recomposed them, really, um, for his own quintet. And it's a very creative move. He's turned them into... He's found something in those pieces, I think, that, that gives them another dimension. Um, and he's going to be performing that with film of Berlin in the 1970s, um, amateur film very interesting combination of the two media. We're going to use the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church again this year um, for a concert by The Necks, who are uh, an Australian group of improvisers who actually appeared in Berlin last year at the Mertz Music Festival when they played um, in Bergheim, the techno club. This year they're going to play in the church, and the difference will be that um, their pianist is going to play the church organ. So they will all be improvising together, as they always do, with no prearranged material. They don't even talk about what they're going to do. Um, and this time they're using the church organ together with their normal bass and drums. Um, and we'll see what happens. But they've been playing together for nearly 30 years, so they know what they're doing. In A-Train, the club in Charlottenburg, we're going to have uh, a little festival within a festival of three nights devoted to piano trios. Because for me, the piano trio is the string quartet of jazz. It's a perfect little unit that you can use for anything you want. You, you know, a, a piano trio can play very traditional jazz, or it can go right to the outer reaches of experiment. Um, and so we're going to have uh, three young groups. Um, the first is the one led by Julia Cadell, the German, young German jazz pianist. Um, the second is uh, led by Giovanni Guidi, a young Italian pianist. And the third is a, a trio from Switzerland called uh, Playster, uh, who are named after a district of East London for some reason. Uh, but they're a very, very interesting group. All these three trios are very different from each other, but they're all suggesting different directions that the format can go in. So we have very important international artists 
for instance, Charles Lloyd, the great tenor saxophonist and, and composer, who's coming with his six-piece band to play his new extended suite called Wild Man Dance, which is a very, very important piece of music. Um, and I think it's, you know, he's, he's a man in his 70s. But this piece, it really is the summation of his career. It's something he's been working towards for all his life. It brings in uh, musicians from Greece and Hungary into his normal jazz quartet. Also, we have Ambrose Akinmuseri, who's um, a great young American trumpeter in the tradition of jazz trumpeters from... Louis Armstrong through Dizzy Gillespie and Miles Davis to Don Cherry. You know, the trumpeters have always been leaders in jazz, and Ambrose and Musery, I, I think, is is one of those. Uh, we have, uh, of the more experienced older musicians, we have Keith Tippett, the great English composer, bringing an eight-piece group um, to perform a new suite called The Nine Dancers of, of um, John O'Gonagon, which is based on Irish folk music. We have Tigran Hamazian, who is the... Uh, extremely talented young Armenian pianist uh, with his trio. Um, uh, Miguel Zanon, a uh, Puerto Rican alto saxophone player, lives in New York. Um, he's written a piece uh, called Identities Are Changeable, which is about the experience of Puerto Rican immigrants in New York. And this is one of the other themes of the festival this year, is internationalism. We have musicians from 30 different countries, I think, and every continent. Uh, and that's something special about jazz in the 21st century, that it, it's almost like a virus. It infects musicians and music all over the world, um, whether they are jazz musicians or not. Jazz brings something to them that they can use. It's a spirit as much as a style. And we want to reflect that in this year's festival. Um, we have uh, Vincent Perrani, the accordionist from France, who played at last year's festival with Daniel Humer, the veteran French drummer. And there's a special significance in that. Uh, Daniel Humer played in the very first Berlin Jazz Festival in 1964. And last year he brought Vincent Perrani, who's a very you know, young accordionist. So I thought we'd invite Perrani back this year for the beginning of the second half century of the Berlin Festival. That's a sort of symbolic gesture that this is the future. So maybe in 2064, when he's in his 80s, somebody will invite him back for, <laughs> for the centenary.